As you know, if you are familiar with my channel, I'm not that good at redstone. However, I love building. And my buddy, Duskrider, is very good at redstone, but he's not that confident building. So he proposed a little switcheroo. I build him a house, and he builds me some redstone contraptions, and we switch. And I build a house around his redstone contraptions, and he builds redstone contraptions in my house. And yes, this is inspired by Green and Mumbo from several years ago, I think. I don't remember when exactly those came out, but I really enjoyed them, so we thought we'd recreate something like that. And for this, I've built him a redstone toolbox. I'm actually pretty proud of this design. It took me a little bit to come up with, but I think it turned out okay. Now, obviously, there are some things to be desired, like windows and furnishings on this side. However, I wanted to keep it minimalist in order to maintain the toolbox-esque shape. I didn't want to overwhelm it with furnishings and detail, because then that would make it look less like a toolbox. And the whole point of this is to look like a toolbox. I've also completed the inside, although there are no furnishings, but I'm not going to show you that. If you want to see the inside without anything in it, you'll have to go to Dusk's video. I've also dug him some space under the floor so he can fit more things in. Hopefully that works out. Anyways, you're not here to see me ramble on about my building. You're here to see me build a house around some redstone. So let's go check out what he's made for me. All right. First time loading up the world. Perhaps I shouldn't have been eating pancakes for this. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh well. Give me a second. This is pretty cool. Alright, so, yeah, this is Dusk Rider's house. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's quite bare and almost looking like it's incomplete, which, I mean, it is. Um, but he told me that he tried to build sort of a basic shell around the redstone, but kind of gave up halfway through, just to give me some more freedom, which is absolutely fine. I love that. And with the shape here, I can kind of visualize almost what I want to do already. Um, as for the redstone, he hasn't really given me any details on what anything is, so I'm just going to try my best guess um, <laughs> for each of these contraptions and um, integrate them into the house accordingly. But other than that, but other than nothing, I had no idea where I was going with that. So, I think, without further ado, let's stop rambling and start building. I love this biome, by the way. This is a fantastic looking place, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh, this is super cool. I need this in my survival world. I made a mistake. Uh, now it's now it's doing something. I don't I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave it. All right. You know I'm really 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 happy with how this turned out. I'm not gonna lie, it was really challenging. Uh, it took me a couple hours, but I think the result is pretty fantastic. Um, my goal was definitely to make like a big crazy house that um, was definitely reminiscent of some kind of contraption. Hence the giant. Um, turnkey on the top and the many unnecessary chimneys and I think that definitely achieves my goal there um, <laughs> Yeah, so it was kind of a challenge especially trying to keep some of the original palette or what kind of could be called a palette in mind So hence the spruce wood um, But other than that I pretty much went my own way and used some of the new blocks because I mean they're new and why not? It's fun give give myself a bit of a challenge as far as the interior was concerned, I had a lot more of a challenge than with the exterior because um, of the preconceived layout. Obviously, I can't really change any of the redstone contraptions around without breaking them, so I had to keep them in their original spots. So this is the layout I came up with. I tried to make it as crazy and colorful as I could. Um, down here, sort of representative of that. However, it gets more so once you go upstairs. Uh, here's, here's just a little room. I thought I would occupy it with some things, but this is the main attraction. This room is super duper... You know, out of the ordinary, very annoying to some, I'm going to guess, with all the clashing colors and stuff. I just thought it would be fun to see how many colors I could pack into the space without making it completely unreasonable. I mean, 
I mean, th that's a very uh, bold statement to say this isn't completely unreasonable, but I'm going to roll with it. You can argue with me in the comments if you like. I appreciate feedback. That would, it's always nice to have feedback, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the main attraction, of course, I think is the orange contrasting with the green. I just love the way these two colors interact. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, um, I'm a big fan of that. Um, obviously, I've used the debug stick for some things, and I've tried to use anvils somewhat creatively with chains. I think they match the colors pretty nicely. All the contraptions still work, um, to my knowledge, except for this. I think I must have updated a piston or something while building. Um, so this, it, it was working for a while and then it stopped. I'm not sure why. Maybe Dusk will diagnose it when he sees this house, because of course, he's going to come on and have a look at what I've built for him. And likewise, I'm going to go back to my world and see what he's built for me. So let's go. Alrighty, here it is. And I can already see something going on that I really, really like. I love that um, swirly red block. That goes really nice with the texture. I should have used it in the build, actually. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, if I'm correct, this is a door. Yes, a very pretty door. I love it. This is cool. Okay. Um, let's let's head over to the fireplace first. Um, let me step. Press this. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm gonna gather that this is to light it. No. Oh, you know what? I probably have to take the water away. Yep. And then... There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, see, this sort of thing is completely alien to me. Like, I have no idea how to set something up like this. With research, I probably could. I mean, with research, anyone could, eventually. But that research is not for me, at least not right now. <laughs> so it's nice to have someone else figure that out for me, if, if you know what I mean. All right, let's check this out. I'm assuming this is some kind of super smelter and appears to be smelting glass. Oh, it's one of those super fast ones where they use um, the um, minecart hopper speeds uh, to take things out of a chest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen that done before. I know a little bit about um, that, although please correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm being ignorant, you know. <laughs> it's nice to be corrected. Um, yeah, it looks like he's blocked this area off. Um, nothing out back, I'm pretty sure. Nope. That's correct. I should probably look before I say anything. Let's head up the stairs. Now this, this is something interesting to me. I'm going to start here. I think this, yeah, this is, this is a nice, uh, nice fault. Nice fault we've got there. Interesting storage system and what's this? Oh, wait, you can do a That's, this is, <laughs> this is a surprise. Okay, so you push, these push you down, and then you can go into the nether portal, but I'm wondering, how did he build this? Like, how, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm super duper happy with this challenge, and I hope you are too. However, unfortunately, it is time to end because we are done. We are out of content. This is it, and there is grass in my face. Um, if you enjoyed the collaboration aspect of this with Dusk Rider. Definitely go give him some love. His channel link will be in the description. So definitely go say hi to him and give him some credit for this idea because this whole thing was his idea. He contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a collab like this and I said, oh yeah, hell yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more collabs between us, definitely let us know. In the meantime though, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and more importantly, I hope you are inspired to do something like this maybe with your friends.